You know what? This water you are drinking could have been an elephant's pee from long time ago. Yup. <laughs> but don't worry, it's clean now. 90% of the entire earth is water. We are covered with water all over the place. But where did water come from? Skies? Rain down on us? But how do we even skies get water? Well, you might have studied about water cycle at school. Skies get water from rivers, lakes, plants, pretty much everywhere. The water is evaporated. All of the filth is left behind and only the water molecules come up and become water vapor. And then they form clouds and become purified clouds which have tiny and then they start dropping back on earth as water drops, filling our rivers and lakes. There is actually no new water on earth. Water is just recycled all the time. It comes on the ground as rain and then goes back into the sky. Then comes back and then goes out. <laughs> so all of the water that you are drinking is pretty much going to come back into the earth. Then absorb back, leaving all the impurities behind. Okay, fine. We know it's a cycle. But how did this cycle even start? Where did the first water, where did the first water come from? Space? Did it crash land here? Well, maybe. Many scientists actually do believe that water did not originate on Earth. Rather, it came to Earth from space. It crashed landed here like a meteoroid. Allah is the originator of water. He is the one who created the first water molecule, the first drop of water. If water did crash land on Earth, it was Allah who sent it here. Allah is the originator of water. Yes, we can see water being recycled and coming into drops down on us. But Allah is the one who originated water. Whether it came from space or Allah created it right here on earth. I don't know. All I know for sure and no scientist can tell you for sure. The one thing we all know for sure is that Allah is Al-Fatir, the originator. He originated the water. Tell me, what came first? Chicken or the egg? <laughs> I don't know. We see chickens created out of eggs every day. But who originated them? Allah Al-Fatir is... By the way, not just water, but even gold crash landed on earth. Similarly, iron. Iron is in our blood. If we don't have enough iron, we could actually die. But where did iron come from? Even iron did not originate on earth. Scientists believe it came somewhere from the space and crash landed here. Allah is the originator of iron. Allah is the originator of the first star in the universe. Allah is the originator of the entire universe. When there was nothing, Allah originated the universe. Allah is the originator of the heavens and the earth. How is a new star born? It's born from the chemicals left behind by previous stars. It's in fact, just like how is a baby born, it needs a mother. Actually, a star needs another star to be born. Star also has its own life cycle. But then how did the first star come about? Allah created it. Scientists today believe that a big blast happened in the universe through which Earth was created, called the Big Bang Theory. Okay, well, maybe, I don't know, but maybe that's what happened. Even if it did, then who created that blast? What actually happened? What Blasted. There's got to be something. Then what blasted? Even if there was a blast, that's what created earth. Then we know Allah originated it. Then Allah created and sent iron to earth, gold, water, much more. And Adam alayhi salam. Allah originated as human beings. Allah is the originator of the heavens and the earth. Allah is Al-Fatir, the originator. He is not just the creator, but Allah is the originator. You know, a lot of people can create stuff, but Allah doesn't just create. 
He is the one who originated. 